Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a new product from Isotope, which is Neutron 4. Obviously it's the sort of next version from Neutron 3. I had Neutron 3 Advanced and to be honest, I was never a huge fan of it for mixing with it and I didn't really think that the mix assistant was particularly useful. Um, but they've added a bunch of new features into Neutron 4 and the upgrade price was cheap enough that I thought it was worth picking up. Particularly, they've added in sort of a new version of tonal balance control into Neutron, which will allow you to basically take a sample of a piece of audio and then say you had a guitar sound that you liked or acoustic guitar sound or an electric guitar sound. Um, and you wanted to tone match that, you can take a sample of it and it'll basically analyze it and match it to your audio. Which I'm not going to do in this video, but in a future video, I'll probably take some samples from some of my favorite songs and try to match like acoustic guitar sounds and stuff like that, just out of interest. And probably heavy electric guitars as well for tone. But yeah. Got this track here, it's like strings, some shorts, some legato, um, some acoustic guitar, and some percussion from In Session Audio, which is their Shimmer Shake Strike 2 library, which is a really, really cool just for percussion, but it's also super handy for recording too in terms of being a metronome much more interesting and lively so yeah i'll let you hear what the song's like and then we'll just load up neutron onto the different tracks and see how it goes Try it on the acoustic guitar first. Besides the fact that it's detected it as a bass guitar, it's actually worked quite well. I wonder if I turn into acoustic. So you have this tone match slider. This is the sort of tonal balance kind of it's built into Neutron now. So at 100% it's very bright. But somewhere in the middle there it actually sounds pretty good. So you can switch to the regular view, which is what the classic Neutron would look like. Take the sculptor, sculptor down a bit. Compressor is not doing much as I've already got custom opto on it. not over compressing. The feature that I was talking about is this. If you click on there you can load your own sample in and that'll load its own tonal balance and you can match the, ba the tone to the sample which in theory should be really really good. So let's hear that within the context of the mix. Yeah, I think 
that's an improvement. Let's try the percussion next, because it might throw it off, it might actually confuse it. It'll detect the previous drums, but it won't know what to do with it, because it's pure percussion. So, basically, with the assistant view, I mean, I, I didn't really agree with what it did there, but the uh, intensity sort of slider. Definitely let you kind of get there without too much messing around. Let's try the stereo with the distortion is also new. So you've got red row tape, warm and tube. Pardon me. I've added a cough button in. Since having COVID a while back, I've got a really annoying cough that comes and goes. So let's try it on the short strings. Take the peak reduction off on FG plus our custom opto. I want to slow it up. Drum four. Don't know if it has a profile for strings or not, but it would be quite easy to take a profile and add that in as a sample. sounds like what it's done there is very overly bright. The problem is that your ears get used to the brightness very quickly.
Bohemian Violin. At the minute I have the UAD 1176 Revision E. Which is just capturing some of the peaks on that violin. Evening it out a bit. So we'll put you drone four in front of that, or after it even. I have a feeling it's gonna really brighten it up again. Again, I think it's made it overly bright. Much slider definitely. Definitely helps. There's a zero latency mode on Neutron 4, just like in Neutron 3, but when you enable zero latency mode, the sculptor and a couple other stuff like the limiter and things like that get turned off. I think there's some of the limiter algorithms work okay, some not so much. with the guitar is pretty tasteful.
terms of distortion, I'm liking the TF saturation the most. But yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of the kind of stuff that uh, Neutron's capable of. So there are a bunch of songs that I'm going to just take samples out of in terms of the guitar sound, whether it's heavy or acoustic, as well, as well as sort of bass guitars, drums, and uh, just build up a little collection of samples and tones. I think that's where the strength of this software is going to be. Um, the stuff that's built in seems pretty good. The detection doesn't seem quite as good as it was in, in Neutron 3, but it still seems to work well enough. This new sort of layout seems to be geared towards simplicity, and then you can go into the more complex and tweak things. But it does sort of get you part of the way there, and a lot of it actually you can just do from this tone match slider. And then, yeah, using this sort of scratch pad here, or XY pad to uh, mess around with the type of saturation that you're looking for. Like the stereo width, it seems pretty natural. It's not doing any crazy phase kind of stuff. The sections for sort of controlling your transients. As I say, you've got this whole section for delving into stuff. Zero latency mode if you need it, but it'll, it will turn off certain modules. And M1 support as well for Apple Silicon, which is nice. They also updated Neutron 3 to work with Apple Silicon. So if you're still on uh, Neutron 3, you still have Apple Silicon support. So, yeah. Hopefully that's given you an idea of what this software is capable of. And uh, I'll be back with another video soon. Cheers.